Hi everyone, Connor McDonald here from the Ask Tom team. Welcome to another episode of Ask Tom TV. In this week's episode, we'll look at applying a unique constraint, but not across an entire table, but just a portion of the rows in that table, and how we'd go about doing that. So let's look at an example of what our original question from Ask Tom was about. Let's say we had a table of someone's salary. So we have someone's name, their salary, and what we call the status of that salary, which will become apparent very shortly. I put some rows in, there's Jones, his salary is $500, and that status is active. Similarly, Wood, Smith, Haynes, all have salaries as you can see there. Now let's say I want to change Jones's salary. He's got a promotion and his salary is about to go up a bit. I don't want to lose track of the fact that his salary was once $500. So what I'm going to do is set the status to null for the current value of Jones's salary and then insert a new row. So we now have recorded the history of Jones's salaries as they have uh, worked for our department. Brown gets a row as well. The problem the question was trying to solve was how do I then prevent someone from putting another row with the status of active for the same name. That's a problem because now I have two entries for Jones both saying they're active. If we look at a larger version of this table, what we're actually trying to achieve is that you can only have one active row for each name in your in department or organization. So we actually want the table to look as if it was just these rows because then we could just apply a normal unique constraint onto the name column it's actually very easy to do. It's like partial indexing. I'm indexing only a portion of the table rows. Let's look at how we can do it. We want a unique index on the name column, but only where the status is active. And that sentence almost leads us into the syntax we're going to use. Here's my table called payments, just a DDL version of what we've got there. We'll create that table. Here's a unique index and here's where the magic is. I'm going to create a unique index not on a column on the table, but on an expression. That expression being case when status equals active, then name. What I'm utilizing here is a feature in Oracle that if all the columns in an index are null, that value is not indexed. There is no index entry created. In this case, the default for a case expression when it is false is that of null. So the only rows that are going to go into this index are when the status is active and therefore we have the name. Let's look at an example now. We insert Jones, his value is active. If I want to insert a new row for Jones, I set the current one to null, and then I can insert a new active row. That works fine. If I try to violate that clause and insert a second row for Jones being active, I can see I've violated the constraint. And there we have it. As easy as that, we can actually have partial indexing in our database to control those special unique constraints that don't exactly match the definition that we normally have with declarative DVL. Thanks for watching Ask Tom TV. We'll see you all again soon.